I've been waiting a long time for this. What about our honeymoon? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That was magical. Sit down right here. Put your hands like this. Now lean in. Trudy. Trudy. The name's Cora. I'm sorry. I'm remembering. Something, uh, there's a woman, I, I think I'm having an affair with a woman named Trudy. I forgive you. Yeah, I think I love her. I don't care. The truth is I'm, I'm not so attracted to you. Whatever. The truth is, um, you sort of terrify me. Hey, there's no such thing as a perfect marriage. Right. All right, look, this is my fault. It's too much pressure. Let's, let's get out of here. We'll be spontaneous. Huh? Hey, I know. Let's go to Lookout Point. That's where all the kids go. Oh, no, no, we can't, no. Uh, no, remember, the sheriff said uh, they were having a problem up there with the bees and the hornets. Everybody's getting stuck. Should I lie down? I think I just solved the case. Great, thank you. Natalie! Natalie! Hey, we found him. Is he okay? We're not sure. Trucker saw one of the flyers, called him, said he dropped him off in Wyoming sometime yesterday. Wyoming? Yeah, it's a little town called Purnell. It's out in the middle of nowhere. The FBI's loaning us a jet, and we can be there in two hours. But is he sure? Was it really Mr. Monk? The trucker gave the guy a $5 bill, and the guy kept smoothing it out. Oh, he's alive! Oh! There's a bee in, in the car. Well, there's about 20,000 of them out here, and they don't like visitors. Here, put this on. All right. There you go. One size fits all. How's that feel? No! Now, uh, try to relax. Oh That's the most important thing. Bees and hornets can mm -hmm. smell fear. Yeah. The more nervous you get, the sweeter you are to them. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh. Jump in there. <sighs> Easy does it. There you go. Don't panic now. Mm. Don't move fast. Get your arm in there. Yeah. Good. I got it. I got it. Sweet as candy. Put your arm in there. That's good. It's all good. Sheriff, we got something. We found her. County coroner's on his way. Poor kid. How did you know where she was? Uh, just seemed obvious. Obvious to you. Yeah. yeah. Here's what I think. Uh. Uh. Happened? Yeah. Yeah. See, you were right about Debbie and Roger Zisk. They were having an affair. On Friday night, she must have told him she was pregnant. She probably threatened to tell his wife. And that was something. Roger just couldn't allow. He brought the body up here to dump it, but he forgot about the bees. Oh! 
They probably stung him a hundred times. And now Roger had a problem. Eventually, somebody was going to find Debbie's body here, surrounded by bees. And when they did, they might remember that Roger showed up the next day, covered with bee stings. How would he explain that? He had to get stung again, this time in public, so that he could explain the bee stings. Guts. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. You figured all that out? What department are you with? Actually, I'm a roofer. I'm just glad to help out. Excuse me, uh, is your gun loaded? Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you kill me? Please. Why don't you just stay in the car? There's a bee in the car. There's a bee in the car. Wake up the judge, then I'm gonna wake up Mr. Zisk. I, I work with you. <laughs> I work with all of you. You're a detective. You're a great detective from San Francisco. You were married to a woman named Trudy. Yes, I know about Trudy. Natalie. That's right. <laughs> I bet you have a million questions. Yes, I do. What's, what's my name? Adrian. <laughs> no, really. What, what's my name? Adrian. Really?